in order for me to start doing this. And I was forgetting the controls again, so I was break dancing in the middle of the damn bookstore. All right, let's try this again. Oh, can't just examine it because Heather's an idiot. All right, so the second one's Romeo and Juliet. That was Shakespeare Analogy One. Please tell me where should I place the book? Yes, good job. It'll work this menu. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, nope. I'm an idiot. Mm. Yep. There we go. First answer was Romeo and Juliet. And get out of here. Da 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 da. Ah, uh, never looks very. Oh my fucking god, Heather. Whoa. All right. Uh, all right. The third one is I have no idea what that one is. Why? Fourth one is uh. Ephemeral. All right. Yeah, fourth is Othello. So did I get the fifth? What'd you say? Two, two was uh. Two was uh Romeo and Juliet. No, two is Hamlet. Three is Romeo and Juliet. Oh, Alright, so third spot and uh, fourth spot was Othello. Yep. Fifth spot is, well, what do you think it is? It was Macbeth, right? No, six is Macbeth, five is King's Lear. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, what, sixth? There's only five. Did you say sixth or was I just derping? Huh? Did you say sixth or was I just derping? That's what, that's what it says on this like explanation thing. I don't know. Maybe they fucked it up. Here, you can see my screen, correct? Yeah, hold on. I, th I think they're talking about the lines, like in the, oh. uh, the lines in the paragraph. Oh, okay. The second line is Hamlet. Third line is Romeo and Juliet. So when you put it in, I think it should go four one five two three. Oh, okay. Four. See, but now you, now you got to take into consideration the seventh paragraph. One vengeful man spilled blood for two. Therefore, four times two equals eight. How did that happen? Two so youths shed tears for three. So one times three equals three. What the? It's so stupid. <laughs> Three, three witches disappeared thusly, so get rid of the last three. Okay. And only four keys remain. You're now left with eight, three, five, two. And that's it. Eight, three, five, two. There's not eight. God. No, that's, that's just, that's the key, that's the code you press on the door. You can pass it if you put oh, that in. Oh, okay. Eight. Yeah, sorry if you wanted to figure it out more yourself, no, but it's just... This is... It, it's this, retarded. Yeah, this is retarded. Like, no one would ever figure this out without looking it up. Like, okay, we're going to give you what you think is the answer, and then we're just going to mum just go into a blender and see how that works out. You know, you know how this puzzle works on easy mode? You put the books away, and there's, like, parts of numbers written on the side of the books, so you just put them in in the order so, like, the code, like, shows up as it... Like, as you should see it. Alright. Alright, what's in here? Oh, snap! Oh, mysterious girl in black. How long does it take Wait, you to figure out that Shakespeare on? bundle? Where is everybody? Those I've been waiting for ages. <laughs> I thought you knew literature. <laughs> I'm just gonna speak in, en in enigmas, cause fuck you. What are you talking about? Don't you know? Your power is needed. How should I? Oh, know? they need her to translate Shakespeare. Bam. I am Claudia. Got it. So what? Who cares? Like. <laughs> and your true self as well. Think about how awkward this walk away must be. One who will lead us to paradise with blood stained 
Is that foreshadowing? Claudio, right? Did you do all this? Yes, I created most of the doors. <laughs> I also broke the lock. <laughs> <laughs> well, you suck, because literally none of them work. <laughs> you had one job. This is why we can't have nice things, Claudia. <laughs> Menstruation. Maybe. Like, cause she starts to get a really bad headache, and then the world turns to hell around I don't her. Get it? What does she want me to remember? Oh, not yet. Apparently. Mm. All right, let's check these broken locks. <laughs> Called it. Uh. It's not that hard to guess. It's like a 75% chance. I'll, I'll even say a 90% chance. Nothing like throat singing. At least it keeps you from going like where you don't need yeah. to go though. That would, be, that would be so endless. Oh my god. I would hate this game if every door was unlocked. I don't think they're important. If I'm Heather. Oh shit, elevator works. Hopefully there's an elevator game like Silent Hill 2. There's no buttons. Like, you know how normally there's like a logical reason for picking yeah. up the radio? You know, like they logically fit it into the progression of the game. Well, no, this is pretty good. It just falls from the sky. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> it's like they couldn't, like, you would ask. You would ask. You're like, what? The Sorry for party rocking. <laughs> It's like they couldn't figure out a logical way to work it in. <laughs> oh, Akira Son. I'll just push the radio if you fall. Yeah, just fall it. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick it up. It's gonna be fuck you. Oh my god. Oh, that was perfect. This doesn't look like a shopping mall. Oh! 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 Did not expect that. Is this a dream? It's gotta be. Oh! Hey, I see what they did there. What was? Huh? <laughs> foreshadowing. Every line like a foreshadow on this. Pretty much. <laughs> see now. I would not stand at the edge of the elevator. Like, I would stand directly in the middle. There's obviously horrible creatures, like, right on the outside of it. Mauling each other's faces. Not even a kid could believe this. Oh my god, the reference. But when am I going to back up? Greatest monsters. I like that scene. I think it was I, very I like well it done. Well, oh, so... Let me get this straight again. These monsters do not disturb her whatsoever, but an elevator with raging dogs does. Like, I can understand if she had that reaction to the first piece of monster she saw, but she literally just walked past the thing and looked at it. Like, nothing. Like, she said no absolutely nothing. That's a lot of dogs. They're not even attacking people. She saved your beef jerky. Uh, 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 no beef jerky. Stop begging. Damn it, Fido. Fido? <laughs> oh god, I get my flashlight? I, 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 uh, you get it soon. I forget where to go, I think you go straight down there. Da 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 and apparently opera. This room looks safe. Oh, and save point. And I think that might be the end of this video, because we spent god knows how long on that fucking riddle. <laughs> the bed is stained. Who's, whose blood is this? Is someone here apart from that woman? That's actually a pretty decent question. That actually makes sense. I'm, I'm going to applaud Heather on that one, because that actually makes I sense. Like well, you see, like, she she might say some pretty stupid things, but at least, like, she says a lot of smart things, too. You know, she doesn't question whether something is a doghouse or not based on the fact that there's no dog around when there's a dog around. <laughs> oh, 
Oh shit. Oh, James is so funny. <laughs> I love the guy, but really. Uh. Okay, uh I, I don't know how long. No, see that that's that's evidence right there that she's not his biological daughter. Like she's much too smart. <laughs> Oh. Oh, okay. I'm gonna overwrite the save and uh I'm gonna end part three, bitches. I have a psycho one more five. Silent Pyramid X. Fighting penis monsters. Peace.